Hi, it's Richard Barrett from Guitarist here, and I've got the Fano Standard SP6 to talk you through today. It is a hybrid between two classic designs. As you'll see, Les Paul Jr. and Fender Telecaster. Um, we have this Neck P90, which is Fano's in-house uh, design, as is the bridge single coil, which is set in an aluminium bridge tray with compensated brass saddles. The electrics themselves are pure Telecaster, really. Three-way selector, master tone, and volume. Quite a nice progressive uh, taper on that. I don't think there's a treble bleed in here, but it does stay nice and bright as you turn it down. Rosewood fretboard, 22 frets. Um, let's flip this over and have a look at the back where the through body stringing and a sustain plate. You'll see that it's a bolt on neck, but a offset join for better access up the top. It's a fairly chunky neck actually, but not too much of a handful. It's actually called the late fifties round back. And uh, we've go to vintage style tuners, which front load in a very similar way to fenders. Okay, and the truss rod access there. It is an aged finish. I don't know how well you will see that on camera. There are some of the dings, but there's some very nice lacquer checking going on front and back. It's an older body and it's pretty lightweight. Next up is the standard JM6. It's inspired by a classic design again. Twin humbuckers, uh, master volume and tone and a three-way selector. These humbuckers, again, are Fano's own design. They're vintage moderate output, nothing too powerful. They're, they're not metal pickups. I'm sure they could do that, but they're going more for versatility. Uh, Tone Pro's tunematic and stud tail piece. Alder body with, again, a lovely aged finish, couple of dings and some checking. And flipping the guitar over, you'll see that we've got the offset joint again. Um, a chunky maple neck but slightly slimmer than the standard. It's still pleasingly round if there's such a word um, and the classic Fender style tuners. Rosewood board of course flipping it back over. So it's a pretty simple setup but it's nice lightweight and it works very well. We're going to play both of these, um, give you some sound bites, give you an idea of what it would be like to try one out in person and then put them in the context of a whole track. Thank you. 